this is kind of like a half plan, half spontaneous trip in Rotorua. We're just going to go and eat real quick. I don't know if you can hear me properly because it's quite loud and it's very busy. But we're on this place called uh, Beach Street in Rotorua. It's like pretty much like an alleyway full of restaurants. Like you got your pub food, you got Italian, there's cafes, bars, type of things. And it's just like yeah, very really, really busy probably because it's Friday, but we have this place called Max Steakhouse. You get your steaks, lamb shanks, you get fries. It's pretty reasonably priced as well, like your premium steak cuts like like rum for example. Even Scotch fillers like around 30, like give or take ten dollars. Or oh, five dollars actually. And um yeah, real affordable. Looking forward to it. I'm pretty hungry and uh, yeah, first we eat and then I'll show you what we're gonna get up to next. So just got word. Going to J. Cole, baby. But I did write this song about him. It's just Friday coming out, so it's a week away. Seven days exactly from today. I'm hot. Okay, that's where we just ate. I just got some steak and fries, that simple kind of thing. Mac Steakhouse, it was good. It's getting a bit dark now, but that's, that was our whole plan. Food was good, on point. Medium Reho, as per usual, you know, you know what it is. But um, yeah, I would highly recommend Eat Street in Rotorua. I couldn't even give you the street name, but yeah, pretty lit, it's quite busy. Food's pretty good. Eat Street. Yeah, no words, just that. Now to our next event. Change of plan. We got ice cream first. Pippi my dolls. First time I've ever seen them. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Do we get the ticks? <laughs> Got some tickets. Okay, the reason why we came to Rotorua is because we came to check out the Redwoods. There's like a normal trail walk that's for free that you can go walk around and stuff. They also have like a night walk, so it's got like um, swing bridges from tree to tree and then they got all these lights all around it's like um these designed what do you call those light thingies it's like lanterns and things like that they're pretty cool and cool looking but um, unfortunately um, because of this lens it's not going to do any justice because pretty much the kit lens that i got the 18 to 30, 135 millimeters like like it's, it's not fast enough to kind of capture everything here so it's going to be real hard to shoot on this one but I'll try my best to give you a little look at it so yeah, let's go check it out we're actually on one of the swing bridges here and um, you know you always got those cheeky fellas trying to like jump on it and everything but um, yeah I just can't choose the swing bridges properly if we come here like at daytime one time, you'll know. Um, like I said before, the lens is like too slow 
because like it just it can't shoot in low light very well. It's only got a like, aperture of 3.5 or something too. Um, actually, if we're just gonna keep going, but yeah, this is the sun ridge. I don't know how high we are. Yeah, cars are. I can't even see them again. Here's one little thing you can see. One of the lights. It's like uh, the doorway to heaven or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to keep saying that like this lens is like pretty shitty. This is pretty much what I've been trying to say of it. No, we've got some more lanterns just where we just came from. There's like, you now you have a disco ball like in the hall and it lights up like all the little polka dots things everywhere. Or they have like kind of like Christmas light colours all over it. Um, down in the bushes below the trees and it's pretty cool. And uh, we're just passing by some more lanterns as you can see. Or as you may not, I don't know. It's pretty good. As you can see, so um, I might just keep filming around and still trying to talk unless we find something like amazing or something, but yeah, we'll just keep on nosing around, I guess. There they are. One, two, three, four lanterns. Pretty cool. I think they're made out of wood or something. I don't know. There's like these information boards at every like tree stump or stop and it gives you like a little knowledge on the wildlife and things like that and also a little bit about the artists who made these things like that uh, which is pretty cool yeah. that's our trip to the redwoods night walk that was all good not too bad I just couldn't show you properly because you, you just know the reason why so it took us about what 30 minutes to go around, do you reckon? Yeah. If you ever want to come, just giving you a warning or a heads up, that's like $25 whether you come during the day or night. That's the the bridge walk. Or yeah, the treetop. The treetop walk. This is treetop walk, 25 day or night. Uh, but you can walk around on the bottom. This is for free, so yeah. If you want to check it out, 25 bucks. Long Mile Road, is it? Yep. Yeah. Because um, I had a um, Google Maps real quick to try and find this place, but it took us somewhere else. I don't know, it probably taken us the long way or whatever. But yeah, $25. If you ask me if it was worth it, eh, it was alright. It was a pretty nice walk. Not too bad. I think we we're like one of the last to come off. There's like another two sets of groups going. Yeah, that's going to do it for this vlog. Don't forget, before you leave, don't forget to drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribe and yeah I'll bring you more content in the future this is us out from the tree woods no this is us <laughs> out from the red woods and the see you later <laughs> 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 <laughs>